Hey guys, this is Mac Games and One with Java Lesson 4. So in this Java Lesson, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making an app that makes a star box, a 5x5 five five square of stars. And the way we're going to do this is not by just doing system that out that print line star 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 system that out that print line star 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 etc. We're going to use something called loops. If you already have programming experience, you might already know about loops. So if I open Xcode, I can make a new project. While it's loading, I'll explain to you. A loop is a piece of code that runs multiple amounts of times. And you can make it run while a condition is true or while the number is less than another number. And you can have loops inside of loops, too. So either way, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to make it a Java tool, and I'm going to call it star box. Okay, now under source, I'm going to edit starbox.java. So I'll get rid of all this code they already had for you already. Now, here's the type of loop we're going to be using. We're going to be using a type of loop called a for loop. There are two types of loops, a while loop and a for loop. A for loop has three different parameters you give it. A while loop only has one. So here's how a for loop works. For, left parenthesis, then the code right here, is the code that runs the first time it hits this loop. So, or the first time around in this loop. So I'll say int i equals zero. And then you do a semicolon. And the next thing here is the condition. So while this condition is true, continue going on. So I'm going to make sure i is less than five. By the way, you can use the less than and greater than sign in conditions. And then semicolon, and then the third thing is code that happens every time. So i equals i plus 1. And an easier way to add 1 to a number is just do the number, then 2 pluses directly after it. So we're adding 1 to i. Then we do left parenthesis, and now we use curly braces to contain the code inside of the for loop. So here's a for loop. This for loop, the code inside of this for loop will happen five times. Now here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do system that out that print star. So right now this app is going to print out five stars, okay? So if you run it, go into the console. Here's our five stars. So let's say we want it to print out five stars five times. I'm gonna add another for loop in here. I1 equals zero. I left i1 less than 5 i1 plus plus okay now outside of this for loop I'm going to do system dot out dot print backslash n and that just makes a new line so what this code is doing it's hitting this then it's going to this this code will run five times, so it'll print five stars, then it'll get out of that for loop and print a new line. Then this loop has repeated once, so now this i is equal to one. Then it starts this for loop over again, prints out five stars once again, and then prints a new line. And now i1 is equal to two. It does it again, prints five stars, and then a new line, again and again and eventually you have a box of stars. So, I'll demonstrate. And here's a box of five stars. Now, say we wanted to print out ten stars every line. So all we do is change i1 while it's less than ten. So if it starts out at zero and we're doing it while it's less than ten, then it's going to print out ten stars instead of five stars. It's still going to print out only five new lines because it's only running this code five times. So if we run this, now it's 10 by 5. Now it looks square, but since going up makes it longer than going across, it looks more square. So this is for loops. Now I'll show you while loops. So a while loop is like a for loop except without the first thing here that happens the first time and without the thing here. So say we wanted to do this with while loops. We'd have to declare int i equals zero up here. 
Then we do while i less than 1. Or, sorry, i less than 5. Then right here, we'd say i plus plus at the end of this code. Then I'll do int i1 equals 0, while i1 less than 10. Okay, pretty cool. So, right here's the equivalent for while in while loops. It's a lot more code because the way it works is we declare i up here, then we do a while i less than five. We're adding i down here instead of right here, and it goes on. I forgot i one plus plus. So now I'm just going to comment out this for loop code and demonstrate the while loop version. I forgot to print a new line here. So now I'll demonstrate the while loop version. And here it is. Pretty similar. It's exactly the same, actually. But I like the for loop code better, so we're going to continue using for loops in this project. But anyway, that is how to do loops. Um, so I hope you learned something about these loops today. I will try to put this project in the description of the video, or at least the link to download the project. Anyway, thanks for watching, Mac Kids and One. Subscribe, and goodbye.